This is how you can make a release notes command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you could go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get a brand new bot tier, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in these videos. We also offer four fully coded Discord bot packages based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's Let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so to start, we're gonna go over to schemas and we're gonna go ahead and create release notes.js. So within this, we're gonna go ahead and get update string, date string, developer string, and we're also gonna get our version, which is gonna be a number, and we can just go ahead and save it just like this. So go ahead and pause the video and copy this down. After we do that, we're gonna go over to community and we can go ahead and create release notes.js. So to start, we're gonna go ahead and define our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder, and then we're gonna do equals require, and we're gonna go ahead and get our discord.js package. Package. Then we can do const notes equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our schemas. So we're going to get our schemas and we can go ahead and get our release note schema. Then we can run our command. So we can do module.exports. We're going to go ahead and create our commands. So obviously we have to initialize our commands. So we're going to do data equals new slash command builder. Then we're going to go ahead and set a name, which is going to be release notes. And we're going to set a description, which is going to be redundant. So that doesn't really matter. We're going to add a first sub command, which is going to be publish with the description of add new release notes developers only. We're going to add a string option with the name update notes and then the description of the notes to publish. And we're going to set required to true. And then the last sub command is going to be a view with a description of view the most recent release notes. So we can add a comma, we're going to do async executes, so we can go in and pass in our interaction, and we're going to open this up. We're going to start off by getting our options, and we're going to set the equal to our interaction. We can get our sub, and we're going to do options that get sub command. So we're going to grab that sub command. We're going to write out our data as well. So we can do var data equals await notes.find. Then we're going to do async function, and this is going to be our send message function. And we're going to pass in our message parameter. In here, we're going to get our embed, which is going to be our new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color, which is going to be blurple, and a description of our message parameter. Then we can go ahead and do a wait interaction or reply. We can go ahead and get our embeds, and that's going to be our embed. And we're also going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message. We're going to go ahead and write out one more function. This is going to be the update function. So we can do async function, and we can do update notes. We're going to pass in our update parameter and our version parameter, and then we can open this up. So within this, we're just going to go ahead and write out our updates. So we can do await notes.create. And we're going to go ahead and get our updates, which is going to be our update string or our update parameter. We're going to get date, which is going to be our date.now. So we're going to use that. We can go ahead and get developer, which we're going to actually get our interaction.user.username because we just need to use our username. We're not actually going to call the member when we get the command. Uh, and then finally, we're going to get our version, which is going to be our version parameter. Then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and use our send message function. And I'm just going to go in and get a globe emoji. And we can go ahead and say, I have updated your release notes just like that. So we're basically containing this all within one function because we're going to use it twice. So it helps to save some space within our code. Now we're going to go ahead and switch to our sub command and we can open this up. We're going to get our case, which is going to be published. We're going to go ahead and start off by checking to see if our interaction at user.id is not equal to my ID or your ID or any of the developers IDs. You could also do an array and check that. Essentially what we're doing here is we're checking to see if this is a developer that's using the command. So if it's not we're going to go ahead and do a wait send message and i'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can go ahead and say sorry looks like only developers can use this just like that so after we've checked that we can go ahead and proceed with our commands we're going to say else and we can go ahead and say const update equals options and we can do that get string and we're going to go ahead and get our updated notes then we're going to go ahead and say if data.length is greater than zero, we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and do notes that delete many. So we're going to go ahead and delete all of our notes. We're going to do var version equals zero, and we can do await data.for each, and we can do async, and we can pass in our value, and we can open this up. So right now we're calculating what this note version is based off of the previous note version. So what we can go ahead and do is we can do version and then we can do plus equals and we can do value dot version. So we're going to add that to our number that we can then use later. So now we can do await update notes. So we're going to call our update note function with our update variable and our version plus 0.1. So essentially, every time we update our notes, we want to change the version by 0.1. 
So that's gonna be the logic to do so. So once we've done that, we have to do one more check. We can go ahead and say else, and we can go ahead and do updates. So we can run our update notes function, and we can go ahead and pass in our update string and our 1.0. So essentially what that's doing is if there's no data already, meaning no previous notes, we just create one. We don't worry about our version. This is version 1.0. Both times we're gonna be using our update string. So just keep that in mind. So following that, this is going to be our publish command. So we've already done all of that. All of the work has now been accomplished. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and break and we can go ahead and get our case, which is going to be view. So this is going to be for everybody in the server or anybody using your bot to view everything that we've already saved here. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and say if data, then we can do dot length is equal to zero. We can go ahead and do await send message and we're essentially just gonna go ahead and say um, there is no public release notes yet or something like that. Essentially what this means is there's no data, so that means there have been no release notes, so we can just go ahead and return an error. Then we're gonna go in and say else and we're gonna do var string equals an empty string. We're gonna do await data dot for each and we can go ahead and open up our async value. So within this, we're gonna do string plus equals, and this is going to be the string that we're actually gonna send with all of our information in it. So we're gonna go ahead and format this. It's kind of important how you format this so it looks right, but essentially we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing backslash tick value.version backslash tick. And we can do two backslash ends and we're gonna bold update information. And then we can do backslash n after that, and we can do three backslash ticks. And then we can do value.updates and we can go ahead and finish those backslash takes off. Then we're gonna do two backslash ends, updating developer, and we can do our value.developer. We're gonna do a backslash n, we can say update date, all in bold as well. And then this is kind of the important parts. We're gonna get an arrow, a t, and then we're gonna do math.floor, and then we're gonna do value.date divided by 1000, and then we're gonna do a semicolon, and then we can do r. So that's getting our Discord timestamp. So that's kind of important. So that's all the formatting we need to do. So we can add a semicolon and we're actually done with the for each. So we're gonna come outside of that and we can do a wait send message. And I'm just gonna go in and grab a globe emoji and we can go ahead and bold release notes. And we can go ahead and simply pass in our string because that's gonna format everything we need to send. So with that, we're actually done with this entire command and system so let's go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server let's go ahead and test this out we're going to go ahead and run our release notes view and it's going to go ahead and say there are no public release notes yet so that means the developers have not pushed out any release notes so now let's go ahead and get our release notes command and we can go ahead and publish our first release notes. So let's go ahead and say maybe we updated some internal bugs, added a report system, changed some embed formatting, and a bunch of other small changes or something like that. So we can go ahead and give our release notes. So that is like a patch note, a bug patch note, something like that, um, that you would want your users to see that you've actually changed. Now, it could also be something bigger, like added an economy system or, you know, change the avatar or whatever it was. Um, but this is essentially the purpose. So with the notes in mind, we can go ahead and send it and it's going to say, I've updated your release notes. So now if we were to run our view command, uh, it's actually going to go ahead and give us our release notes. So the first release notes is obviously version one. And then we have our update information. So that's the exact same string that we put in before. So it's gonna give us updated some internal bugs, add a report system and all that stuff. And then obviously the updating developer was myself and the update date was 27 seconds ago. So it's gonna keep updating whenever you run the embed. Uh, it's gonna maintain that timestamp. But again, the point of this would be like if a user was using my bot and they wanted to see what updates have been happening recently or something like that and you wanted to make it public and maybe you didn't want to use GitHub or maybe people don't look at your GitHub or whatever, you could do it within Discord and within your bot. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. This time we're gonna publish some new notes. We can go ahead and say added economy, updated AI commands, changed some embed formatting, and fixed some crash causing bugs. So these are like pretty realistic change log information notes. So that's kind of why I'm putting them in, but we can go ahead and send it. Uh, it's gonna go in and update so we can go ahead and get our view. And now we have version 1.1 
with all of the information we just provided and now the timestamp is updated. Now I was actually testing this out and as soon as I updated it past 1.1 it gave me a pretty big number that shouldn't exist so let's go ahead and go back into the code and actually fix this bug. Alright so we're just going to go ahead and start off by doing version and then we can do equals and we can do math.round and we can go ahead and say version times 10 and then we can do divided by 10 and then we're also going to go ahead and add our 0.1 within this value. And then we can go ahead and take it out of here. So essentially what we've done within this is we've changed the way we update it and we've also rounded it. So with these changes in mind, let's go ahead and test this out again. So we can fully test this out from the beginning. I've gone ahead and cleared the schema. So let's just go ahead and publish. We can publish A and then we can go ahead and do our release notes view and then we can go ahead and publish it again. So obviously now we're back at one. We can publish the same thing. We can go ahead and view. Now we're at 1.1. So this is where we were before. Let's go ahead and publish it again. And now we're going to go ahead and view. And now we're at 1.2 instead of 1.2 and then a bunch of zeros and then a two at the end. So if we were to continue to do this and we were to publish uh, even more, we were to publish uh, 1.3. Now it's going to be at 1.3. So the numbers probably still exist within the schema, but we round it. So now it's no longer a problem. So as you can make an advanced release notes change log system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go to join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways, because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.